Hi guys over here and welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be continuing with the Elite Edition starter set so if you don't know I've already done a video on the unboxing and on the Assault Marines so in today's video we'll be on the Captain then after that I'll have to paint the Necrons and the Outriders and that'll be in the entire box set to complete so yeah in today's video obviously like I've said doing it on the Captain so let's get into that before we get into the details of the model I'll just show you the model itself so let's get into that look at the captain I know the camera holding was a little bit shaky but I haven't got um, a tripod or anything yet so yeah if it was a bit shaky I'm sorry about that but yeah that's just how it has to be now I'm going to be moving on to the details and stuff like that so let's get into it. so guys here is the captain as you've already seen this is probably the best model I've painted so far in my army or my company of Space Marines um, so yeah this took me quite a while um, uh, way longer than I'd normally paint to model because just look at the amount of detail there is on the captain there's just a, a lot more than a, a normal Primaris Space Marine so yeah this took me on and off all week a couple of hours every day but yeah I think it's turned out pretty well and now I'm going to be um, just running through a couple of uh, bits of detail because as you can see on the sword I did use a, a lot different wash which may look a little bit familiar um, because I have actually showed this in another video this was in the assault marine video and I did do it on one of the hell blaster guns that the one of the assault marines was holding so yeah I'll probably focus on that first so let's get into that here it is guys this is the technical Deseret glow which I have already used before on the assault marine like I've said and I did use it on the Necrons. Well, I will be using it on the Necrons when I do paint them, but I did use it on the Necron, um, on the little bit of scenery there. So yeah, I put the Tesseract Glow on the sword to just bring out the glow, to show that it's like a power sword. And I did put it on the Iron Halo, just, just to show that it's making like, like an invisible, because I'm sure that an Iron Halo is supposed to generate some sort of shield over the captain when he's in battle just to give him a little bit of support. So yeah, that's just to show a little glowing effect. I really like how it's turned out. Just wanted to try out new things, just to bring out more detail onto the model. But yeah, like I already said, I think it's um, turned out quite good. And I'll probably be putting it on a couple of my models now and then, just to bring out more detail and stuff like that. But yeah, I did put it on the Necron as well, which I'll show separately in a minute. But yeah. Actually, we'll move on to the Necron itself. So let's get into that. Not a full Necron without, it's got no gun and everything like that. It's lost all its limbs. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show um, what it looks like. And I just wanted to like try out how the color scheme would go. And I think I've actually um, 
done the color scheme that I'll be using for all of the Necrons. So yeah, I'll run through that now. The first thing that I did use on the Necron was Citadel Chaos Black, which I sprayed as an undercoat. And also, if you want to follow this as like a short guide, if you do like the look of this Necron, even though it's not a full Necron, you can you can still basically see what it would look like if you do like the look of it. You can um, follow this little uh, guide of how I painted it. So yeah, sprayed it Citadel Chaos Black as an undercoat. And then next, I um, dry brushed it with the Retributor Armor. Oh God. <laughs> Retributor armor, um, and then I um, dry brushed it with the iron breaker. So yeah, silver and gold dry brush. And then to bring out the main color on the Necron, to give it that like Necron look, um, is this. It's got a weird name, um, Caroberg Crimson. Uh, I think that's what it's called. It's a liquid. Obviously, it's like a an oil, just a wash over the model to bring out that necron sort of look color so yeah and then obviously i used the uh, tesseract glow put that on there to bring out a couple of little details you can see the little bits of neon green on there so yeah that is um how i did the necron so moving back on to the captain I did actually take the Necron off the base plate because I do think it looks just as good without it. Because it just shows all like the bits of a uh, terrain and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna run through how I did paint it. So let's get into that. So first sprayed it with Sistel Chaos Black and then I sprayed it with the Mephrag Blue and then these are all six of the colors that I used. Just these are the, the six main colors. So you got the Retro to Armor, the Abaddon Black, the Eastern Gray, the red, wait, I don't know the name of this red. The Evil Sun Scarlet Red, the Iron Breaker, and the McCrag Blue. And then onto the base blades, these are the two colours. Got the Scrag Brown and I have no idea what that one is. I'm very sorry. But it's just another shade of brown for the base plate. Then for the face, I got the white scar. And um, that's been covered up with the paint, but yeah, that's uh, for the actual um, skin tone. And that's the wash um, to bring out the eyes and stuff like that. So there are all the colours. And then, oh, almost forgot, obviously, the Tesseract Glow, which I've already showed, which is on the Iron Halo on the sword. So, yeah. So guys, that is the Captain from the Elite Edition Star Set. I hope you did enjoy the video. That is everything. I've covered all of the paints and I did show you all of the details on the model. So yeah, I did hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will actually be doing a video. It's very random. I don't know if I'll be doing it or not, but just to say anyway, um, even if this is the first video you've ever watched from me, you might have um, noticed that I say so yeah and obviously more times than I probably say anything in any of my videos. So I was actually going to make um, a video of just me saying, so yeah. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and then, or obviously as well. Um, so if that does um, pop up on my channel as a video, it'll be very random, but now you know if you've watched this video. So yes, guys, that is everything in the video. I did hope you enjoy it. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe. The next video will be on the Stonehammer, so stay tuned for that. See you later, guys. Bye.